So let's go back to our canoe example and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using a sweep with guide curves over using a loft with guide curves. The most obvious advantage is that a single profile can be used just with the guide curves to construct the entire sweep, whereas with a loft we would probably have to have a profile sketch here, another one about here, another one here, and so on, going up around this curve in order to maintain this curvy outer shape of this hull. We'll show this in an example with a loft shown here. The loft has the same beginning profile sketch and it finishes with a point at the end. It looks almost the same as the sweep, but there are some differences. If I take some cross sections, beginning here, and sweep it through, I see that what happens is the shape of the loft starts getting very flat toward the end, and then if I look toward the tip of the loft, I take some horizontal cross sections. I see that the loft is very flat through here, whereas the sweep would have maintained that 110 millimeter radius that was specified in the original profile. In fact, this can be easily seen from the top view. We see this has become almost a perfectly straight line because SolidWorks with just two profiles, even though it has guide curves, is going to do whatever is going to be the simplest loft between those two profiles. In order to maintain that nice outer curvature all along the length, additional profiles would have to be added to prevent that collapsing of the curvature in this region. This makes sweeps especially well suited for paths that tend to change direction altogether. In this case, our sweep is starting out horizontal and ending up vertical, but we can still just start with a single profile and let it turn the corner automatically, whereas with a loft, we would again, as I mentioned before, have to have profile sketches on planes at different angles to follow this curve. Going back to the sweep, we can see from the top view how the curvature of the profile has still been maintained even up toward the tip. Another advantage of the sweep is that it's very versatile and easy to change. For example, here I've made a different profile sketch but have retained the original path and guide curves. And in doing so, I've got a canoe hull with a new shape. Or, conversely, I could easily change the shape of the paths. I'll change this in my layout sketch. And it's automatically updated the entire shape of the canoe. If I was doing this with loss, I would probably have to go and change the shape of each of the cross sections to achieve the same effect. The disadvantage of the sweep is that I always have to start with a two-dimensional profile, even if I'm going to finish with a point. Whereas with a loft, I could always start with a point, have a profile in the middle, several other profiles and finish with a point if I like. With the sweep I had to make one half of the canoe and mirror it over in order to get points at both ends. Another disadvantage is the same basic cross section is going to be present along the entire path of the sweep. It will be distorted, it will change its shape and size, but the basic elements of it will not change. With a loft, I could always start with a triangle, transition to a square, then to a circle if I like. There's no limit to the transitions from one type of a cross-section to another. 
A disadvantage related to this is the fact that I have to make sure that whatever profile I start with is something that can be swept all the way from the beginning to the end. As we saw in this one example, if we accidentally create a profile that has dimensions that conflict with the path and the guide curve, it will not be able to properly complete itself.